I first heard about Living Proof through Renee Zellweger. I was up in Canada doing a movie with her, and she and I were talking about the types of roles that we both like to play, and she said, well, I have a role that you might be interested in, and, and didn't really hear any more about it. And then a couple of weeks later, I got a script in the mail, and that was a script to which she was referring. And it was really exciting to me because it was something uh, on many levels that I had never done before. Action. The film is about a guy named Dr. Dennis Slayman. It's called Living Proof. Dr. Slayman is uh, one of the great heroes of modern times. He came up with a treatment for breast cancer. What I'm trying to do is something that's never been done before. And it's a story of his his challenge to try to get the drug approved by the FDA, which uh, was a very, very daunting set of events for him. You don't know the drug is going to work. I do know. I know. This is the story of the evolution of his research and, and using that drug on different women in different situations with breast cancer. Today is a historic day. We're here to do something that has never been done before. It's all about how hard it is for these doctors to really treat their patients and all the struggles that come along with it and the politics involved. My daughter is dying. You have the power to save her. I don't. If I break the rules, they're going to shut it down. They thought he was crazy. Like, what he was talking about didn't make sense. But he knew uh, that he was on the right track. And you get to see the toll it takes on him as a character, on, again, on, on his family and his patients and the people he comes in contact with. He is on a mission, and he's not going to stop. We can't stop, not until we know what we have. I think after meeting Dr. Sleeman, the only thing he really truly cares about is his cancer research. I mean, he really empowers you. And he also makes you realize how important the money is for the research. I don't think a lot of people know what goes into getting a drug approved. Well, clearly, you don't have anyone with cancer in your life. How lucky for you. You're going to want to root for the journey of this doctor. This is the first time I've ever played a real person. Um, and yeah, I did approach it differently, probably with more reverence and respect than I've done uh, for any other role. Well, you know, he was really well cast for this role because, you know, the real doctor is supposed to be incredibly, like, movie star handsome, but you believe them as a doctor, and that's why I think Harry, you know, is just perfect. There isn't anything he's not daring enough to jump into and do. There's a song. I wrote this song very recently. It's not a complicated song, so it wasn't very difficult to arrange or orchestrate. Um, and I have my best friend, Kim Burrell, singing on it with me. It's a song for the hopeful. And it just felt something like something right to do. It deals with a very specific um, window of, of people who have gone through a whole heck of a lot, yet still uh, are able to keep their chins up. I still tell Renee all the time, I'm just so, so honored that she asked me to do it. This is the song for the This is a song for the May God hear its song. Living Proof. A lifetime red carpet movie event premieres Saturday, October 18th. This October, Sony is making a contribution to breast cancer charities. Go to iTunes now to learn more and download Harry Connick Jr.'s Song for the Hopeful.